Hey, he's going on YouTube, so he knows best here. In this video, I'm going to be going over the multiple versions of Windows 7 that are slated to be released. Um, now, Engadget, Gizmodo, some other popular tech blogs have um, said they actually confirmed this with Microsoft, that Windows 7 is going to have um, six, six different versions of it that people can buy and upgrade to. Um, we'll get here in a minute whether that's good or whether I agree with that or not. Um, but if you go to Engadget.com, I guess do a search for Windows 7 SKUs, S-K-U-S, um, and it's just the different versions of it, you'll find this article I'm talking about. And this article breaks them down into detail about what, you know, and, and, and some slight detail about what each version has and what's different from the other versions. Uh, the first version of Windows 7 Starter is pretty much, uh, it's available to all manufacturers. Uh, it's missing an arrow and also, also limited to three applications running at the same time, which is pretty sad. Uh, I don't know who will only want three applications running at the same time, but that's Windows 7 Starter. Um, also, you got Windows Home, Windows 7 Home Basic. Um, again, that's only thing is, it says missing Aero. You um, use interface tweaks. Uh, Windows 7 Home Premium is going to include Aero, uh, Aero, and um, also include multi-touch capabilities, which is going to be good with the Touch Smart. Um, and also going to have premium games, media capabilities, media center, DVD playback, DVD creation, and you can create home network groups with Windows 7 Home Premium. So that version is going to be probably 90% of the market actually going to get that. So um, Windows 7 Professional, um, Enhanced Networking Capabilities, Mobility Center, and Presentation Mode. And then you have um, Windows 7 Enterprise, which is as branch, cache, um, as direct access, and as BitLocker. And then Windows 7 Ultimate is going to be everything that Enterprise has, is, but it's limited to OEM and retail availability. Um, now, this is not coming from Microsoft website, so we don't know exactly this is totally set in stone what these different versions will be, but it's pretty much a good idea, and I pretty much it should be dead on. Now, we get to the point here whether or not this is good for Microsoft to be doing, to release so many different uh, uh, different types of the operating system. Now, this is nothing new, really, uh, but it's always good to take a look at it, because one thing that Apple does very well, now I will bring them to this argument, is that Mac OS X Leopard is one one version of it, one price, everybody's uniform, everybody has the same exact thing. Nobody's different as far as coming to the operating system. Um, now, Windows 7 is definitely going to be different. Now, Windows 7 is going to be on a lot different, not uh, many different versions of computers and different PCs from different manufacturers. So, and, you know, Windows 7 starter may be good on certain type of netbooks, you know, netbooks that don't have that much power. And I can see Microsoft arguing that fact. But I, I think they can probably break this down into three different versions. One version for really netbooks, one version for um, the average user, the majority of their, their, their marketplace and everybody else, um, as far as the, the, the casual consumer, and also the gamer. And then also the one version for business users. So I think they can break it down to three different versions. Um, that's what I would recommend they do. So that would just alleviate the headache of those people who really don't know the difference between Ultimate and Home Premium and who are paying more for Ultimate and really don't need that. Um, and also, it, it, it would just save money. You know, I think they can get everything in the price in, in different, three different price groups, uh, can save people money. So some people are just going to get home basic and they realize they can't create a home group, um, <laughs> DVD playback or something like that, and that, that's just going to be ridiculous. Um, so definitely, then they should kind of narrow it down those three different type of markets or three different type of categories. Um, now we'll wait and see until Microsoft officially, officially comes out and tells exactly what it is, especially the price points of this. Another rumor saying that it's going to be these uh, versions are going to start at two hundred dollars. That's a lot. That's pretty a lot because a lot of people do argue the fact that they think that Windows Seven should be a free upgrade to Vista users. Now, since a lot of Vista users or some Vista users had, did have some substantial problems in the beginning, and I was one of those people, and they actually helped me switch over to a Mac. But some people have um, said they have some substantial problems with it, and they think it should be a free upgrade. But I, like I said before, Microsoft is a business, and I know that they need to make money somehow. So I'm not going to really, you know, lay on them heavily for that. But, you know, let me know what you think. You know, that's, that's just my take on it. Three different versions, three set um, price points. That's what I recommend. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment under this video. Um, have any questions, send me an email or send me a message here on YouTube. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, also watch me every Wednesday on Ustream.tv. Soldier Knows Best. That's my channel, Ustream.tv. That's the website. You'll find me um, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. Talk about different things of tech, do some giveaways, a lot of good stuff. Um, and also, 
Um, check out my channel. I do a lot. I got, I think about over 150 videos. I think I do. I'm um, going over a lot of different things with tech and mostly Apple specific. So check those out and uh, make sure you subscribe and be automatically entered in one of my giveaways. And what I'm actually going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway here. This is a random giveaway for one of my YouTube subscribers. And this is a giveaway for somebody who subscribes to me on YouTube. And this is going to be a 30 minute section that you can talk with me and maybe some guests. I, might, I may have some guests along, but you can talk to me, ask me some questions. We'll more likely talk on Skype or iChat, something like that. And I'll be more than happy to answer some questions and go over different things and get your ideas about your opinions. You have a YouTube channel page. I can look at it to see if you're ready for be, to be a partner or something like that. Uh, but let me go ahead and pull up my subscribers page here. And let's see. All right. So I got my subscribers pages here. And I'm just going to pick a random person from my subscribers page and they're going to be the winner of this giveaway. All right, so let me go ahead and choose this here. All right, and the winner is DeLorean Boy 1981. I hope this is not you in your picture, but um, DeLorean Boy 1981, you are the winner of this YouTube giveaway where you get a 30 minute session with me. We've been going to talk some things, some different things about tech and you have any opinions or questions, I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. And uh, just send me a, a message here on YouTube and we'll go ahead and set up a time and uh, a date when we can do that. Well, other than that, it's been a giveaway here. I got some more giveaways here coming on along the stream with my next videos here. I got to make up for a lot of giveaways here for y'all on YouTube. And um, other than that, I'll catch you later. Peace.